What's up everybody? Thanks for coming by and checking out this tutorial. Um, the reason for this tutorial is to show you a really cool block of code that I discovered on the internet here. And it basically is uh, just a reset function um, in your Arduino software without actually having to push a button on your Arduino or even uh, building a button in your actual project. Um, I, I build a bunch of escape room props here and usually after the gamer actually solves the puzzle the game master will usually have to reset the game and they can you can usually either build in an on and off switch or even a reset button into the reset but this is actually a cool little uh, piece of code that actually like you don't actually have to do anything you can just build it in your code and actually have the 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 uh, the proper puzzle itself res reset itself after a certain amount of time and um, before I get into it and show you what it's all about, um, I don't get credit on this. The only credit I get is actually showing you how it works um, in the code. And actually, I will show you physically what I mean in, in the hardware. But I got this from uh, Gabri Gabriella Levine on the Internet. And if you go to this link right up here on Instructables, you'll find exactly what I mean. Anyway, uh, credit to her. And I will go down here and show you what I mean in the code. So, <clears throat> right down here, this cool little block of code right here is all you really need. Okay? And let me just tell you what it does. Uh, this will reset the puzzle automatically once the puzzle is solved. Uh, put a delay on it for as long as you like before it ends the task and resets. So, as far as I know, you could put this either in uh, in front of or behind the void loop okay if you have a void loop um, I don't think placement really matters but I just happen to put it behind or in back of the void loop setup in my code this is basically a piece of code that I'm working on for a, a prop that actually um, the gamer will actually use a a, a magnet that I'm going to be putting on a, uh, on an item where they actually have to wave the magnet and the coders actually have to wave it over the actual uh, the read switch that I'm going to place into the prop three times to make the function work to make it activate so in the code here um, all you need to do is just put this piece of code in there and I put it after the void loop and actually put the reset function in the very back of it okay this little piece of code here now this for loop right here I wanted to show you because this is the this is the code I've been using for a long time to actually in in the code but the only thing is is that it only runs once okay and so this for loop right here um, will allow it to only run, run once and I would always build in a reset button into my functionality a physical button now, whether it be a limiter switch or a button that you press to reset the whole entire game here. Well, with this piece of code here, you actually don't need that anymore, and I'll show you why. Okay, so let me go ahead and take this out here. And I I already did the code to make it work, so I'll actually show you in the serial port here. Okay, so I'm going to clear it, and I'll actually off-screen run my code, and this is what it looks like. So as you can tell, as you, if you heard the click, that means the, the, the puzzle was solved. Now after five seconds, as an example, the puzzle already started. So I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to push any buttons. I didn't have to like turn an on and off switch to make a trigger. And I'll do it again so you can see. And after five seconds, it automatically resets. Now you you don't have to do five seconds. You can put it on a timer as long as you want. You can make it run for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and it automatically resets. Again, the purpose of this is to show you that you don't have to build an actual button into your in, into your hardware or into your puzzle. And I will now show you off screen what I mean. All right, folks. So here it is in action. Forgive the wiry mess here, but it is a work in progress. So, as explained, um, I have a magnet here, and here's the reed switch right here. 
So they'll have to wave it in front of the reed switch three times as the combination combination. One, two, three. And it turns on the the light or relay here. As you can see, it turns it off here and it automatically resets. So if I do it again, one, two, three, it actually makes it turn on. And it turns off again. Okay, now you may be asking why put that code in there? Why why do you need it at all? Well the fact is is if you actually run the code it'll just recycle it'll just keep looping looping through it'll just and it'll do it again and again and again and again so you have this light turning on and off um, it'll just keep looping well what this does is it actually sends it through its code then resets goes all the way back to the beginning so the person has to do the code again or the uh, the password code oops to make it work. So in essence it kind of resets everything back to the very beginning. And so anyway that's a cool little piece of code that I found on the internet. And I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.